This is a case of uh, a 73-year-old woman that had uh, a watershed infarct in the left uh, hemisphere due to severe stenosis of the pituitary segment of the left internal coronary artery. Uh, you can see here uh, the severe stenosis uh, and the nova of blood flow demonstrated compromised flow in the left hemisphere. She had failed medical therapy, so she was a candidate for uh, stenting and revascularization. This is the uh, digital subtraction angiogram in AP and lateral views showing uh, the severe stenosis of 90%. Uh, her anatomy was uh, very tortuous. We required uh, to use a neuron max uh, as a guiding sheath uh, that was advanced over a, a 5 French VTEC catheter into the left common coronary artery, followed by uh, an intermediate catheter, a 5 French Navian uh, 058 by 115 centimeters, and uh, with the support of an Excelsior XT27 over a V18 microwire. You can see how we're making the loop and going into the distal cervical segment of the internal coronary artery. After we get to position, we are able to do uh, measurements and, uh, uh, and to, to determine what's the size of the balloon and stent that are going to be used for revascularization. Uh, it was 90% stenosis and uh, we decided to uh, use a gateway 2.5 millimeter by 15 uh, millimeter ba balloon that was advanced over a transcend uh, 300 centimeter microwire. You can see how we're preparing uh, the uh, stent uh, after preparing the balloon uh, microcatheter. For the stent, we use a wingspan 4 millimeters by 15 uh, millimeters. Um, we are very careful to make sure that we do not uh, bend the tip of the delivery catheter. And now we're advancing the system. The microwire is already uh, loaded uh, with the balloon catheter. And after we advance uh, the microwire with enough distal access uh, for stability, we use uh, um, insufflation of the uh, gateway balloon to create uh, the balloon dilatation, the angioplasty. This is in preparation for stenting. We do not do the uh, stent uh, um, and follow with the balloon angioplasty after. We always do the balloon angioplasty before uh, when using this stent. You can see the balloon deflating and this is the result immediately after angioplasty, so you can already see improvements in the opacification of the intracranial circulation of the left uh, hemisphere. Uh, but now uh, we're going to go ahead and advance uh, our stent. We use the long exchange system of the uh, using the, the 300 centimeter microwire. It is, that is one of the main reasons why it is important to have a good distal access with the uh, guiding sheath and, and good support. Uh, now uh, we have uh, the uh, stent delivery system in place and we're unsheathing. We're unsheathing. We're not pushing the stent. We're just unsheathing the stent. You can see how the distal struts are already out and now the stent is uh, deployed. Uh, now we do a confirmatory angiogram to document a revascularization without evidence of thromboembolic complications. This patient was premedicated with aspirin and Plavix in preparation to this procedure. And after documenting revascularization, we follow up with pa this patient with blood flow NOVA measurements, which recovered after the treatment.